We have another earbud from Kumi here. The model number is TWS-834A for Alpha. And unlike the previous model that I reviewed that only fits into your ear, this one actually has stick that sticks out that I'm not really a fan of. Obviously, I made fun of Apple AirPods for their design, but there is a good reason behind it. And it is that um, you can make a better dialogue while you're making phone calls or with your AI assistants like Google uh, Assistants or Alexa. And um, this one has a USB Type-C charging port, which is really good. We all know it's really good. It has 32 hours of play time. That's quite impressive actually, because Google Pixel Buds 2 has 24 hours. Um, it has a Bluetooth 5.0 and TWS, so I don't know what TWS stands for, but Bluetooth 5.0, which is really good. Uh, Multi-function touch button operation, well, obviously that's a pretty standard. Smart voice assistant, and I think what they mean is, as I explained before, it's more well-designed so that you could dialogue with your AI assistant. Uh, single double mode available as well, ambient noise reduction. So it's not a noise cancellation that I actually highlighted on my previous video, but ambient noise reduction. It has a wireless charger apparently uh, function. So I'm not 100% sure, but I do have a wireless charger with me. So I'm gonna try that out. Um, anyhow, this looks quite promising people. So let's do the unboxing. So here it goes. Well, one thing I forgot to mention is that it's IPX7 waterproof, so you can actually carry out exercise with it, but you obviously can't swim with it. Anyway, let's get the seal out. Okay. That's the case. And we all know what this is. This is going to be the cables. USB-C cables, I presume. We've got so many of them now. So 40% off. And this is the quick instruction, so you can pause and have a look. And um, you can see immediately, this is more designed for phone calls and dialoguing with your AI assistant. That's just the um, support thank you card and lastly a USB type C cable and oh what's this that's just an instruction to how to set it up so we all know how that works and finally we got the case so slight weight and um, that's where you put the USB-C cable on it. And um, yeah, that's just the string. Nice quality. Uh, the opening. There's a bit of pause of a lock. So you can see that it's like, yeah. And then that's open and the earphones. That's not bad actually, the quality. Comparing to the previous model, this has a bit more quality into it, I have to admit. Okay. And um, if you look at it, zoom in. That's where it's charged and that's where the sound goes. And I presume this could be another sound source or sensor. Not 100% sure. I think it's more about the sound actually. And on the front, we have the Kumi logo and probably the noise sensing outdoors as well. Now, since it has been stated that this is capable of wireless charging, I got a Google uh, Pixel Stand that is a wireless charger. So this is the battery indication. So let's put on it now. Let's see if it works. Ah, the light's on. I think the wireless charging is working. Can you see that? Well done! So if you open up the case, there is this button here, which I understand is the connection setup button. And probably you'll see this blink. So what you need to do is go to pair new device on your phone. Then this is Kumi here. So let's do the pairing. Yes, let's pair it. So that's paired. Well done. 
So the slight grudge I have against Kumi's product is that the plastic itself, I wish they had give a bit more premium feel on it. But when you touch it, it feels like, hmm, it's not that the one of the best. But then again, uh, it is under 50 US dollars as far as I'm concerned. So I don't think we should expect too much on it. The case itself seems to gather the grease quite well as well. But then again, it's all about the sound. So um, what I'm gonna do is, as soon as I take out, by the way, it gets connected straight away automatically. It's quite clever. And I'm going to listen to the music called Buddha by um, Contest, um, which is the free copyright safe music. So here it goes. So to start with, it's really good. The sound is really sharp because on the uh, Kumi app system, I put it on to the um, EQ system of Rock, which is really good. The beat is really crisp. The thing about Kumi is that they know how to make the beat sound really good. And I put it on to Rock setting, which is really sharp as well. It's my preference, which is, it sounds really good. I'm really impressed with it. The only thing is, I can imagine, um, because it's not completely sealed sound, I could hear that there's a bit of a leak. And also, um, someone next to me could easily hear what I'm listening to as well. I wish there was, um, it doesn't come with the seal, extra seal for customized for the size of your ear. Um, so, if you actually push it, to your ears more closer, the sound is much better. So that's a bit of a shame on this one. It, it only comes with one size. But the sound is really good. I'm quite impressed with it actually. Uh, you gotta make sure though, uh, when you actually fit your ear, you have to either do it this way or downwards. I actually prefer to do slightly upwards angled this way. And the sound, you won't be disappointed. Kumi's done really good with this one, actually. I have to actually admit, this sounds much better than the previous model. But it's just that if we had that extra seal that could customize the shape of your shape and size of your ear, that would be much better as well. Not bad. Very strong sound as well. Right, so unlike the previous Kumi product, this actually has this stick coming out. So I assume it's more attentive to what you say and dialoguing with your AI. So let's try that, shall we? So, hey Google, what's the weather like at New York? That's good, so we're actually responding to it. So this is the sound through my phone call to my wife's phone and I put on the speakerphone to let you know how crisp it sounds like. I'm away from this room and actually I'm going through the Kumi earphone calling you. So can you hear me? How's it sound like? Good? Right, so this is the Bluetooth 5.0 test. So here it goes. We are going to win the state of Wisconsin, and we are going to win four more years. And then after that, we'll go for another four years. That's because not bad. So again, overall, I have to say, I wish Kumi had a better plastic finish on it, but then again, probably I'm asking too much for its price. Maybe if it, they come up with a premium product, we're probably definitely gonna see a better uh, quality there. Anyhow, the sound itself, I'm really pleased. I have to say, probably this is better than the previous model that I reviewed. Um, and uh, you won't be disappointed with the sound. But um, overall, I know that there's a bit of a gap feel. In other words, it's not completely sealed into my ears because it comes with one size. That's a bit of a shame. I wish they provided an extra sort of a seal with this product so that it will feel 
fit much better into your size of your ear so you could get a better sound quality but other than that still yet it it's really good um, and um, obviously it's not as good as Pixel Buds 2 as sharp and crisp and right in your face kind of feel but the beat is very soft and settled and uh, professionally done overall I'm really pleased I didn't really expect a sound quality uh, from Kumi uh, such a product to provide such sound with this price so you won't be disappointed so um, I'll definitely recommend it so please do get it from Amazon uh, from the link down below so thank you very much for watching this video I hope this all explains my thoughts and my views but if you have any other further queries please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible have a nice weekend all the best bye bye